Hey, Mike. Yeah? Could you open some folders? Uh, sure. Mike. Mike. Wait, Mike. what? On the computer. Oh, those kind of folders. The CompTIA a exams obsess on the idea of where certain folders are located on your system. So what I want to do is I want to take a look at Windows XP right now and do a little march through of all the really critical folders on your computer. You need to be able to recognize these. You're going to see them on the exam. So let's dive in and take a little look at Windows XP. Here I am in Windows XP. So let me go ahead and click on Start. And then I'm going to use, in this particular case, I'm going to use my computer. As long as you get to Windows Explorer, it doesn't matter, but my computer's as good a place as any to start. And let's go look on the C drive. Now this computer has one hard drive on it, and it's formatted as one C drive. So everything that I know about Windows is going to be on this drive. So what I want you to look at first and foremost is right here, where it says Windows. This is Windows itself. These are your system folders. So let me get this in the details so we can look at it. Now as you can see there's a lot of different folders in here but there's a certain ones that I want you to be very much aware of. First of all one of the biggest ones is good old System32. Now you'll see it warns me that these are hidden folders but I'm going to go ahead and just show the contents. System32 is probably the single most important folder of all your system folders. Pretty much everything that is everything in your system runs here in System32. Uh, inside of here are the primary executables that actually make Windows itself run. There is all kinds of information in terms of dynamic link libraries, which are the cornerstone, the pieces that makes Windows what it does. Your memory management, your graphics, everything that is Windows is stored within System32. If you want to wipe somebody's system clean, just delete this folder. That'll do a really good job. So let me go back up one. Now, as we're looking here in just Windows itself, we can see there's a few other ones that we want to be able to talk about. In particular, where did he go? There he is, fonts. So these are all the fonts that are currently installed on your system. And if you want to install a font, really you just download it or whatever and just drag it into this folder and Windows installs the font just by doing that. So the next one I want you to take a look at is right here. Do you see offline web pages? Now, I don't think we're going to see too much in here right now just because I haven't put a lot in here. But any time that I go to a website and I can say watch it offline, Windows will go ahead and copy the entire web page, including links, into this folder so that if I want to look at a web page and for some reason I can't be online, it's right here and it works automatically. Now, the last one I want to show you is right here and this is temp. Temp, boy you can tell this is a new installation, my temp is very empty. Temp is the default place where installations, uh, applications, anything that needs to write something temporarily but it needs to stay around for a while, everything by definition of Microsoft gets dumped into this. This is a very typical place for us to come in and do some cleaning when we have too many files on our system we're starting to fill up a hard drive. So those are the system folders. As you can tell, there's a lot more system folders, but those are the ones that CompTIA wants you to concentrate on. What I'm gonna do now is we're gonna shift gears a little bit, and let's take a look at the user folders. This is where we store personal information about the individual users on this system. To take a look at our user documents, I'm gonna once again start at my computer. So let's go into the C drive. Now, what I want you to notice right up here, do you see where it says documents and settings? These are the users folders. So I'm going to open this up and we'll see that this system currently has three users installed. So in particular, you'll notice that there's the administrator, which is the super account. You'll always have an administrator. Uh, this is the, it's called XPM user. That's the account that I had created for this particular XP installation. But there's also another one called all users. Let's take a look at one of these individuals and then we'll take a look at all users because he's important. 
So as we open up XPM users, we're going to see settings that are unique and important to an individual. For example, any cookies that they might be pulling up from their web page. What's on their desktop? Right now, should be kind of blank, but everything that you copy into your desktop is put into this folder. So if you start cluttering your desktop with lots of junk, it's all showing up in this folder. These are your favorites for Internet Explorer. Here are my documents, and that's your default storage location for this. And here's your start menu. What you can do if you want when you install programs is you can have individualized start menus that will look different depending on how you've got your system set up. All right, so let's go back one, two rather, and let's talk about my documents. In Windows XP, it's fairly rudimentary. By default, you'll only have my music and my pictures. But for example, if I'm using a uh, recording tool, it'll suddenly pop up a new folder in there called My Recordings or something like that. Microsoft wants people to use the My Documents as a single area to store personal information. The neat part is, is that if I took this one folder and I copied it over to another system, I would in essence take all the personal information that is that person and allow them to use it on a different computer. There's even programs that are designed to handle this for us. The other one I want to look at here is all users. All users basically means I don't care who you are, you're going to get this. So for example, here in the desktop, if I created a document in here, I'll just make a little silly WordPad document. I'm going to call it Fred. No matter who logs in, Fred is going to show up on all of their desktops. That's for all users. Now, let's head all the way back to the root of our C drive. And the last one I want to show you here in Windows XP is program files. Program files, oh, that one's hidden too. These are your applications that you've actually installed in your system. So every individual program that you have installed in your system shows up here. Now by default there's quite a few that are placed in here, but if you wanted to delete a program in an ugly manner, you could literally go in, pick one of these, delete it, and you have in essence deleted that application off your system. I wouldn't recommend you do it, but do understand that all your installed applications show up in program files. So those are the three big areas I want you to be aware of when it comes to Windows XP. Make sure you know, first of all, that Windows are your primary system folders, and make sure you memorize the ones that I've mentioned in this episode. Number two, documents and settings is where user information is stored. And remember, there's always an all users that allows us to put something in for every particular person who ever logs into the system. And then last, applications are installed in program files. If you know those three, your life's going to be a lot easier when it comes to playing with Windows XP.